What's up guys? We just got here. Not the weather I'd like, but it's still beautiful. We got the Greggio GTS Gray. This gray is beautiful. Bellissimo. Guys, I can't tell you how much I love this GT, all right? I mean, from the F12, I've always wanted something similar like this because for all Ferrari collectors, I feel like you have to have a V12 in your collection. But the A12 GTS, that's another level. And when I mean another level, there's a lot of history involved in this. The last time Ferrari has produced a V12 convertible was about 50 years ago. And that was the 365 GTS, otherwise known as the Daytona Spider. So this is why this car is so special because it's been 50 years since Ferrari has done this as a production car. And this is the A12 GTS. Now, I'm lucky enough, I have a very good friend to lend me this car. So I will be doing a review, but forgive me if I don't do an immaculate review. I just wanna show you guys the interior real quick because this car is specced out exactly like the Global Launch Edition. So let's check out the interior. This is gorgeous. This interior color is called Iroko. Now, it's a splendid mix of a chocolate and caramel combination, but when you sit in it and you just touch it, it's so supple and luxurious. You see a combination of the narrow black as well as the Iroko Brown. Obviously, you're gonna have a lot of carbon fiber tidbits here and there. This car is optioned out to the max, but I just wanna show you guys all the exterior design and the creativity and how beautiful everything is. But most importantly, there's form and function. So all the vents that you guys see has functionality right here. Let's start with the hood. The front end of this car, there's a lot of vents. Ferrari does it best, I have to say that. They do it the best. And you know what? If you just take a look right here from this angle, so the wind tunnel effect, it goes through right here by the headlights. The functionality of this is that it cools the V12 engine bay, but at the same time, keeps the car down. That is brilliant. So since we're in the front of the car, let's see what's under the hood because you guys got to see this V12. This is a beauty. Literally, it's Beauty and the Beast. This is a 6.5 liter V12, 800 horsepower. Enough said. This could be the last of its kind. It's possible. Don't mark my words right now, but it's very, very possible that this V12 is the last of its kind. And like I said, for any Ferrari collector, you gotta have a V12. Listen, I love the V8s, I love the twin turbos, but sometimes you just gotta have a flagship V12, especially if you're with Ferrari. Look at the intake manifolds. These are always in red. Such a beautiful piece of work. And these are the intakes. These are massive, like really massive intakes. Very long front nose. This is what a V12 should be. Now, you're also going to have air inserts right here. Air is inserted through here and it goes through the fenders right in here and it cools the braking and the air flows right through here out of this vent. That is brilliant. And this is what I love about the front end of the car. When you just take a step back, you see all the angles and all the different vents. So obviously when you're driving pretty fast, the air is flowing with the wind is very interesting because there's a lot of details of this car, such as the front windshield. Now, my friend Doug pointed this out to me. So when you're going against the wind, the wind hits this and it kind of deflects it up. For guys that, you know, that go boating or you have a little speedboat, there's a lot of wind deflectors on top. So sometimes if you put your hand out, you kind of deflect everything and your hair doesn't blow. But this kind of has a similar effect when the top is down. But let's take a look at the back. The back of the car, has some beautiful, beautiful design features as well. Now, how do you tell when a Ferrari is a Spider or a hardtop convertible, such as the A12 GTS? Well, there's twin peaks right here. Okay, so obviously you can tell by the lines right here, but when the top comes down, you're gonna see these peaks go up. 
and this is really, really cool. So you guys are gonna get to see this in a bit, but this is how you tell if it's a hardtop convertible. Now you also have rear vents right here and here for cooling purposes, but this time you have the dual circular LED lights on each side. And I love circular rear tail lights. That is superb. You guys are gonna love this because I'm gonna start the engine up. The RPM is limited, so I'm not gonna be doing a lot of revs, but we will be going for a drive. Don't worry, this is what we're here for. So let's get going. Is this classy or is this classy? This is classy. So guys, we are doing a drive with the top down, with the FPV flying, uh, with my good friend Doug. And you know what, we are just, just cruising. And to be honest, just like you said, I can't, I can't really feel the wind that much. It's, you know, my hair is a little bit blowing. It's not that bad. The windows are up, but uh, it's not terrible. It's not terrible at all. It's actually quite refined. Sex. That's really like sex. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much, you know. It, this is why. This is why we love cars. It's give and take. <laughs> it's give and take exactly. Yeah, yeah. This is why I love cars. So this is why I do EMC for you all, so you guys can see my huge grin when I'm driving these amazing cars. I think they could be the ultimate daily car. You know, around yeah. town, around coastal drives like what we're doing today. I've been driving this car pretty much all afternoon. I don't have a backache and everything is very ergonomically designed. It's straight to the point. The climate controls are all here where I need them to be. As a driver, everything that I need to know about the car is right in front of me. I'm focused on the car and that's how it should be. You know, it's this experience. It's awesome. This experience is amazing. A little bit about the interior. It's actually made by Petrona Fra, one of the best Italian leather manufacturers in the world. Now, this is why the interior is so nice. This is why I said when you sit in a Ferrari, you know, their leather it just feels so good. I just want to keep touching it. I almost feel like I'm molesting it and it's not very healthy and it's not very cool. But yeah, it's made by Petrona Fra and this is why their leather is so nice. So this is the most powerful B12 in production in the world. From the rumor mill, Ferrari has stopped taking orders on this. So you guys are out of luck. <laughs> so the first thing that comes to mind for me is how smooth this V12 is. This V12 is so smooth and the dual clutch Oh man, oh the sound, wow, the shift gear is so fast, oh the V12 is so sexy, it's just so, so intoxicating, ooh look at that downshift.
The A12 GTS, my personal opinion, this is probably the best GT on the market. A couple reasons. It's the most powerful. It's a V12. It's a Ferrari. And it's got so much history and DNA. All the racing heritage, all the luxuriousness, all the investment that Ferrari has put into making awesome street cars that are super luxurious, super beautiful. This is the best combination of everything. This is the perfect gentleman's car. This car exuberates ultimate class. This is a status symbol. This is the top of the top. It does not get any better than this. I can go on and on about analogies and describing how great this car is, but you guys get the picture. This is the ultimate. There's nothing better than this. This is the best GT on the planet, the A12 GTS. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.